Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah chapter 49 Concerning the Ammonites, thus said Yah, Has Yisrael no sons? Has he no heir? Why has Malcolm taken possession of Gad, and his people dwell in its cities? Therefore see, the days are coming, declares Yah, when I shall sound a battle cry in Rabbah of the Ammonites, and it shall be a heap, a wasteland, and her villages shall be burned with fire. Then Yisrael shall dispossess those who dispossessed him, declares Yah. Howl, O Heshbon, for Ai is ravaged. Cry, daughters of Rabbah, gird on sackcloth. Lament and diligently search by the walls for Malcolm shall go into exile with his priest in his heads. Why do you boast in the valleys, your flowing valley, O backsliding daughter who is trusting in her treasures, saying, Who would come against me? See, I am bringing fear upon you from all those around you, declares the master Yah of hosts. And you shall be driven out, each one straight ahead, with no one to bring home the wanderer. And after this I turn back the captivity of the children of Ammon, declares Yah. Concerning Adam, thus said Yah of hosts, Is there no more wisdom in Teman? Has counsel been lost to those with understanding? Has the wisdom vanished? Flee, turn back, dwell in, dwell in the depths, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I shall bring the calamity of Esau upon them, the time that I shall punish him. If grape gatherers come to you, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? Even thieves by night would destroy only until they had enough. But as for me, I shall make Esau bare. I shall uncover his hiding places so that he is unable to conceal himself. His seed is ravaged his brothers and his neighbors, and he is no more. Leave your fatherless children, let me keep them alive, and let your widows trust in me. For thus said Yah, see those whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have certainly drunk. And are you the one to go unpunished? You shall not go unpunished, but certainly drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, declares Yah, that Batshar has to become a ruin, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all its cities become everlasting waste. I've heard a report from Yah, and an envoy has been sent to the nations. Gather together, come against her, and rise up to battle. For look, I shall make you small among nations, despised among men. The dread for you, the pride of your heart, has deceived you. O oh, you who dwell in the clefts of the rock, holding the height of the hill, though you make your nest as high as the eagle, from there I bring you down, declares the master. O oh, Edom shall be a ruin. Everyone who passes by it is astonished and whistles at all its plagues. As in the overthrow of Sedom and Amor and their neighboring cities, declares Shah, no one shall dwell there, nor will a son of man sojourn in it. See, he comes up like a lion from the Yarden jungle against the home of the strong. But in an instant I shall make him run away from her. And one who is the chosen one to appoint her, and who is the chosen one to appoint over her? For who is like me, and who summons me, and who is that shepherd who stands before me? Therefore hear the counsel of Yah, which he has counseled concerning Edom, and the purposes he has purposed concerning the inhabitants of Teman. The least of the flock shall drag them away. He shall make their pasture a waste before them. The earth shall be shaken at the noise of their fall. There is an outcry. Its noise is heard at the sea of reeds. See, like an eagle, he flies up and spreads his wing over Batra, and the heart of the mighty men of Edom in that day shall be like the heart of a woman in her pain. Concerning Demasek, Hamath and Arpad have been put to shame, for they have heard an evil report. They have been melted in anxiety like the sea, unable to rest. Damasek has become feeble. She has turned to flee, and trembling has taken hold of her. Distress and pain have seized her like a woman in labor. How is the city of praise deserted, the city of my joy? Therefore her young men fall in her streets, and all the men of battle are cut off in that day, declares Jalafos. And I shall kindle a fire in the wall of Damasek, and it shall consume the palaces of Ben Hadad to Kedar and to the reigns of Hatsor, which Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, struck. Thus said Yah, Arise, go up to Kedar, and ravage the men of the east. 
their tents and their flocks, their curtains and their all their vessels shall be taken, and they shall take away their camels for themselves, and they shall cry out to them, Fear is on every side. Flee, go away, dwell in the depths, O inhabitants of hot sword, declares Yah, for Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, has taken counsel against you, and has devised a plan against you. Arise, go up to the nation at ease that dwells safely, declares Yah. It has no gates or bars, they dwell alone, and their camels shall become plunder, and their large herds booty, and I shall scatter them to all winds, those who cut off the corner and bring their calamity from all its sides, declares Yah. Hatsor shall be a habitation for jackals, a desert forever. No one dwells there, nor does son of man sojourn in it. The word of Yah that came to Yirmiyahu the prophet concerning Elam, in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, the sovereign of Yehuda, saying, Thus said Yah of hosts, See, I am breaking the bow of Elam, the chief of their might, and I shall bring upon Elam the four winds from the four quarters of the heavens, and scatter them toward all those winds. And there shall be no nation where the outcasts of Elam do not go. And I shall break Elam before their enemies and before those who seek their life. And I shall bring evil upon them. My burning displeasure declares Yah. And I shall send the sword after them until I have consumed them. And I shall set my throne in Elam and destroy from there the sovereign and the heads, declares Yah. And it shall be in the latter days that I turn back the captivity of Elam, declares Yah.